What's up everybody and welcome to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're detailing the interior of this Lincoln MKT. It's really nasty and it's gonna need a lot of heavy cleaning. Again, this video was filmed this past winter, so we pulled it out of the archives. That's why you're gonna see some discrepancies. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please subscribe and click that bell. That way you don't miss stuff. Now this middle driver's seat latch was broken, so we couldn't pop it up to clean under it. The owner already knew about it, so we just had to work around it. As always, we start with the front of the vehicle's interior. Using our brushes, APC, compressed air, and vacuum to get into all those vents, cup holders, buttons, and hard to reach areas. Here you go, clean that. Please? Really? Before we detail any vehicle, we have all new customers read and sign our agreement form. In it, it explains that all storage areas should be cleared of all personal items before we arrive. This is important for us because for one, it speeds up our detailing process, and second, we don't want to handle anything, including money or other important personal items that may be in those storage areas. If they're not emptied out as requested, we leave them alone. We believe this is not only the most professional thing to do, but also the most respectful to our customers. We want to protect their privacy. Some vehicles have lots of seams, cracks, buttons, and other areas that need extensive brushing and compressed air to flush those areas out of dust and grime. Getting in between these seats and center consoles can be a challenge for a mobile detailer. We do not remove seats because it can be a liability, and in a mobile setting, it takes too much time to remove and install seats, making sure to have to torque them back to spec. So instead, we use our vacuum nozzle, air gun, and steamer to blast those hard to reach areas. If you want to remove seats in your business, go right ahead, but make sure not to shame others for not removing seats. It's not always needed to do in details. And some customers don't need that. These cup holders also need steaming. They had lots of sticky residue from drink spills. We had to go over these areas multiple times to get them to our standards. Now I move on to the carpets. We use Meguiar's Citrus Power Cleaner Plus to shampoo them along with some heavy steaming and extraction.
these carpets were really nasty, so we decided to extract them. We don't always need to extract, but in this case we did, and they cleaned up really well. Leather had some areas from years of built up grime. A magic eraser and APC made quick work of it. Door panels are very intricate. Lots of APC, brushing, and compressed air was needed to get them up to par. These stains back here were extremely difficult to work on. We had to attack it with everything we had at the time. It was a huge improvement, but instead of spending all of our time on stains that will never budge, we have to know when to call it and move on.
fabric on the backs of these leather seats is delicate, so instead of attacking it with brushes and steam, I decided to use a less aggressive but extremely effective method. Turtle Wax Interior One Foaming Cleaner is one of our secret weapons against annoying stains on delicate fabrics. It's strong and we only use it in cases like this. Cleaning seatbelts can be very defeating. Sometimes they come out great, other times not so much. There are many ways to clean seatbelts, but we try drier methods so as not to over soak them. It can cause other problems because they take too long to dry. Remember that broken seat? Well, we had to work around it, which was frustrating, but we made it work. These carpet mats also cleaned up really well, just a few stubborn stains that needed extra attention.
we used some chemical guys in Visible Cleaner, which worked really well. Now sit back and enjoy those aftershots. Remember, some stains are set and will never come out. Just do your best and make sure to communicate realistic expectations to your customers. Thank you for watching guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and share it with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And remember to subscribe and click that bell. That way you don't miss stuff. And you may have noticed that join button next to the subscribe button. You can now join as a member and get behind the scenes and extra footage. It's nothing special and nothing you're really missing. It's like buying a limited edition DVD with extras and commentary. So if you like that stuff, then consider joining. Plus, we appreciate the support. But if not, no big deal. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.